Mic check, mic check. All right, welcome back to the Sip and Tally podcast. And today we're going to recap the Browns and the Ravens. The Ravens pulled out a, for lack of a better word, ugly game. But we got to win and, you know, it's a lot of stuff to improve on. But the good thing is they're, they're fighting through the, the bad play. And you can see the improvement from some people, some versions. Like defense played extremely well um, last last night. Uh, I can only remember giving up two explosive plays. Uh, maybe more, but I can only remember two. And um, just overall, you know, another nail biter is we just finding ways to win. And and I think even though it's ugly right now, if we can start to put stuff together, the the mental fortitude these guys have gained from playing these tight games and staying composed and still pulling them out will will do wonders for us in the playoffs. But let's get to the recap and um, you know, let's go through the stats first. Then I'll kind of go through the drives. Let me pull my stuff up right here. So obviously we won the game 16 to 10. Uh, Tucker hit three field goals. We had the one touchdown by um, Le- Andrews, I think. Yeah, by Andrews. And um, some late game drama. But stats wise, Lamar was 17 uh, carries for 68 yards. Dante Freeman had 16 carries for 52 yards. Murray had... Uh, Eight carries for 14 yards, and Duvernay had a jet sweep for 13, which picked up a big uh, first down. And then Tyus Williams had one first down, one, one attempt, one yard. People had been clamoring for Tyus to come back. He came back and didn't do too much. Uh, Passing-wise, Lamar was horrible. Uh, he was 20 for 32, 165 yards, uh, was sacked twice, and threw four I- INTs, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four INTs. Um, Marquise Brown was targeted 10 times with eight catches. Andrews was targeted 10 times with four catches. Uh, Bateman was targeted four times with four catches. Uh, and, and a list of other people had one catch. Freeman, Sammy Watkins, DuVernay, and Ricard. Um, Williams, Tyson Williams was targeted once. And Wallace actually got into the game for a regular snap that wasn't a special teams rep. And he got targeted that was not even close to being complete. Uh, let's look at the defensive stats. Mm, let me get to the defensive stats. Uh, for us, defensive stats, Pat Queen had eight tackles combined. Uh, Hump- Marlon had eight. Uh, anybody else stick out with tackles-wise? Brandon Stevens had five. Bowser had four. Clark had four. There's a bunch of other people with three, two, and one, respectively. Uh, Tyus Bowser had one sack. Uh, Odafi, Odafi Owe had a sack. Um... And even though it was only two sacks that's in the books, them cats was cutting up. Owe, Bowser, and and Houston, boy, they was getting out there last night. Boy, they they played some ball last night. They made up for the fact that Calais wasn't there. Them three guys right there was getting after it. And Queen, too. And Queen, too. And Queen. Um, Queen had two tackles for losses. Bowser had a tackle for loss. Bowser had three quarterback hurries, too. Owe had a quarterback hurry, and Houston had a quarterback hurry. Uh, pass deflected, mar- deflected or defended. Marlon had two. Brandon Stevens had one. Uh, Chuck Clark had two. Uh, Matabike actually had one. I think on the tip ball. And Oway forced the fumble and recovered it. Oway forced the fumble and recovered it. Now let's look at team stats. Team stats. Team stats. And you know we really go look at a couple of stats. We look at first downs, and we had 22 first downs to their 14. Third down efficiency, we were seven for 15, which is 46.7%. They were four for thirteen, which is thirty percent. That's great defense. It's great defense. Great defense. Uh, total yards, which was closer than it should have been, I thought. Uh, th- we had three hundred three to their two sixty two, but y'all know my, the main stat I love: time possession. We won time possession thirty seven minutes to twenty, basically twenty three minutes. It was thirty seven um, minutes and four seconds. Versus 22 minutes and 56 seconds. So we one time possession that allowed us to to control the clock semi. But those turnovers really, you know, helped them stay in the game. Them four interceptions helped them stay in the game. Let's kind of go through my drive by drive notes. And toward the end of the game, I kind of got away from the notes because I was so locked in into the game. Uh, begin. We did we get the ball first? I think we yeah, we got the ball first. So we had um. Missed field goal, but we had – no, no, no. 
Yeah, we're on defense first. We're on defense first. Uh, they missed the field goal, but you had a big play by Patrick Queen. I, I think it was, he shot the gap again and just blew everything up. I think that was one of those plays. I don't remember exactly, but in my notes, I got a big play by P, PQ on that first drive. The first drive for us offensively was when uh, Jason Garrett, not Jason Garrett, uh, Miles Garrett beat, he beat the chip from Andrews. He beat the double team from Villanueva and Ricard. And at that point, I was like, oh, my God. This is going to be a long, long, long night. But it ended up not being so long, you know, after all. Uh, second drive, second their second off, off, offensive drive, O.A. missed the sack, but that's one of them hurries. He, he, we found out early that he, those, those, their tackles couldn't block O.A. Found it out early. They couldn't block O.A., they couldn't block Bowser. And once they found it out early like that, they were just gone. Now, there were occasional, you know, times where they were blocked or – the stun or something didn't work out, and you know, but for the most part, as a whole, they couldn't do anything with Bowser or Oway, or or Houston for the most part. Uh, our second offensive possession, I got uh, we we got two first downs by penalty, so they helped us out on that. We still couldn't get any push up the middle. Um, I don't know why. Eventually that changed, but uh, and then we were still over on third down. We had like three or four third downs at that point. Hadn't converted one uh, to that point. So now they get the drive, their third drive. Now we start to bring the pressure. I got right here a lot of heat from Oway, Bowser, and Houston, and some good coverage on the back end to uh, when we did go zone, when we did go zone. People were getting in drops. On, um, one play that Baker overthrew, I can't remember who the receiver was, had he thrown the ball to him like where he was catchable, it probably would have been picked off. It was undercut. Somebody showed up. Somebody showed up under the receiver at the last minute. And if it had not sailed on the receiver, it probably would have been, well, I want to say it would have been interception, but we can't seem to catch interceptions. It probably would have been a pass deflected. All right, so now our third drive, which was the best drive of the game for me. It was the best drive of the game. We had 17 plays. We had the ball for more than half of the quarter, and we were finally able to get push up the middle. We were finally able to get um, um, Freeman to get some some yards up the middle, four or five yards, and which allowed us to – to collapse the ends and get outside with Lamar. We were finally able to move the ball, but we got down there and stalled for some reason and got three. Didn't score on that drive. Didn't score on that drive. All right. Now, their next position, uh, they op we opened the drive with a huge play to the tight end, so they did some kind of play action, and tight end was basically buck naked. And I think they flipped the field completely. They went from, like, the 25 to the other 35. But then we got the sack from by Owe, and Queen picked that up. So that helped us out. That stopped that drive right there. We still winning. So now we got um, offense for the Ravens. Bad play design on the INT. And what I saw from there, I saw, and I talked about it in the live stream, I saw um, Bateman running a shallow route, like a shallow drag. And then you had maybe, um, not maybe, it was Mark Andrews on a dig. And so at the point of them to mesh, Lamar threw the ball and Bateman couldn't, had no idea that that ball was not for him because at that point him and Andrews were on the same linear plane. And so he stuck his hands up there to catch it. It deflected. And then it went right into the hands of, uh, I think Ryan Harrison, Harrison for uh, Cleveland. So that was the first interception. You can chalk that up to play design or, or, or whatever it was, but that one, it was bad. It was bad, but it wasn't the worst. It wasn't the worst. So now they get the ball back. Uh, what I got? Uh, gave up two deep outs early on, like timer routes, and you could tell they would. At this point, they were going to get the tight ends involved. You start seeing more double tight ends with Njoku and uh, Hooper, I think is his name, and they were looking to to get those guys involved. But the defense held up, you know, after that interception and only gave up three points. So now we come back out on offense. I don't think it was the first play, but it could have been the first play, and Lamar throws another interception. And I don't remember what the, the, the play design was on there. Just in my notes, it says stupid. So whatever it was, I'll go back and look at it. It just got stupid. So now we come back. They have the ball. Get another fumble. Fumble by um, Baker Mayfield. Like he's trying to do a screen or something, and they knock it out of his hands. Oh, wait, pick that up. So if we, at this point, we're going back and forth. We're playing ping pong right for the half. But then we get the ball back. Lamar throws another interception. So that's three straight drives. Interceptions. Three straight drives, interceptions. They get the ball back. Uh, I don't know how many plays they get, but basically it's halftime. It's halftime. And so now we come out. 
It's at this point it's um six to three maybe. I think it's six to three. Yeah, maybe six to three. We come out of halftime and um it's like I got a crazy drive with two big plays by Mark Andrews. A 50-50 ball that Mark caught with, with one arm, with the other arm pinned on him, which is part of the problem. The fact that Andrews can catch those balls and does catch those balls sometimes is the reason Lamar just be throwing the crap up to him so much. But I digress. So we got, you know, two big plays. Andrews got a touchdown that drive. Now we're up 13-3. Um, to 13-3. They get the ball back. Uh, they get a short drive. We get a tackle for loss by B. Will. Uh, Marlon with a big pass defend on, defended on third down, uh, which I thought he probably should have had a pick on that, but he didn't. Uh, then we get it back, still up 13 to 3. Um, now I got a late hit on Clown to help the drive, but it's still stalled out. Uh, Hollywood can't make guys miss out in space. Uh, like he got a, like a little flat route, and he was one on one with a guy, and the guy tackled him like he was tackling a dummy. Like, the little move he gave didn't work. So my my thing is for Hollywood, catch it, just try to outrun guys. And if you can outrun them, fine. If you can, like, run, try to split them and run through little arm tackles, that's fine. But the, eh, 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 he ain't got that. He ain't got that. Or at least I ain't seen it. But he do got a – now I'm going to go off tangent a little bit. He ran a, a route that he didn't catch. It was a deep ball. I think he ran a hitch and go on um on one of their corners. On one of their corners. I can't remember which corner it was, but he ran a hitch or ran the curl, then pivoted out to to run the go part of it. So when he started the go part of it, he didn't go full speed. Then he kind of hesitated and kind of gave the the DB a hezzy. But when the ball was in the air, he separated from that cat, like instantly almost. And whoever the DB was is one of their faster DBs. He separated from that cat instantly, but the ball was out of bounds. And so Holly was a lot faster and a lot quicker than I than I thought he was. He just don't have lateral uh, uh, to make people miss but as far as going downhill and changing directions and starting stop he got that he got that now back to the lecture at hand um so after that the browns get a td uh the joku caught up well i i didn't think he caught the ball it looked like the ball hit the ground like it went through his arms hit the ground hit his thigh and he corralled it that's what i saw but they called it a touchdown and made it that made it um 13 to 10 13 to 10. That made it 13 to 10. So now, after that, let's see what we Yo, we had a good drive after that. We did. We had a good drive going. We were run the ball again, trying to chew some clock. And I think this is the drive where Lamar just threw it up to Andrews. And that that um that DB made a heck of a play. I think the fourth interception was that one. I think. Made a heck of a play. And um so we turn to turn it over again. But they get the ball back. The def- like, at this point, the defense is saying, we, you're not going to score. Because our defense is playing lights out at this time. Chuck drops an interception. You know, this drive, like right in his hands. You, you couldn't have placed the ball into in a better spot for him. He dropped it. But still, they didn't get anything out of it. Made him punt, and um, we came out. So next drive, we go three and out. Uh, kick it back off to them. Next drive, they have a short lit drive and kick it off to us. Then we have a long drive after that. I think it's like... It's like seven or eight minutes left in the game. And in my mind, I'm thinking, just run the, run the ball as much as you can and, and run the clock out. And so um, I was thinking, I think I said in the live stream, we need four, four first downs to win this game. And so we ended up getting, like the first play of the drive, we got a first down, which definitely I thought we needed more because we got a first down on the first play. And then the next first down happened on like second down. So then we kind of, the third first down happened on like a third down maybe. And the fourth first down happened right before the two-minute warning. So then I was like, well, we got to get one more. So now we get down there and we get a holding call that hurts that drive, and we end up getting a field goal from Tucker. That makes it 16-10, to 10, and then we come back out and stop them on defense, and that's kind of the, the gist of it. But it, it was it was nail-biting. It was frustrating offensively. But the defense came to play, man. There, This game, they cut down on the big plays. They tackled well. I, I I remember I remember one missed tackle from Queen. I I remember one missed tackle from Queen. But we ha- when we get in position to make interceptions, we have to make them. That's gonna hurt us. 
And I know interceptions are extra. I always say, you know, because the defense is designed to stop the offense. The intercept, interceptions, turnovers, all that stuff extra. But when we do get in position to have interceptions, we have to make the play. But overall, man, I just I can't say enough. The MVPs of the game for me. And last night I said it was um, – Oh, wait, I said Bowser, maybe. Matter of fact, Bowser ended the game on a sack, if I'm not mistaken. I said it was Bowser, but it has to be Bowser and Owe. Has to be. Them them boys, got, I can't just spotlight one without the other. Them them cats got after it. They got after it. Really did get after it. But um, you're really just going to close this thing out. Um, don't forget about the giveaway. Um, I talked about the giveaway during the game last night. So it's... um. You know, if you want to see what it is, go go back. But what you need to do is you can, you can. Matter of fact, you can use this video right here. You can take this video, put it on your Twitter, you know, tag me in it, and you're in it for the raffle. That's all you gotta do. Take this video, or a video from last week, or a video that I decide to do tomorrow or the next day, because we're gonna pick the one on Thursday. Uh, put that on Twitter. Uh, tag me in it saying what it is I'm doing or whatever, 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 you know, whatever words you choose to use. You can say I suck. You can say I know what I'm talking about. I don't care what you do. You're still going to be entered in the draw. And um, you get a chance to win the, the little gift thing. And again, it's uh matter of fact, I'll tell you what it is. Did I take it out of here? I took it out of here. It's a shut the door. And the part where you roll the dice is it's a Ravens cloth. kind of looks like with the Ravens logo on it. Uh, again, you can look at the... Um, Find it on the feed from last night. I had the picture. I was holding it up. But, again, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all my Patreons. I appreciate everybody that's supporting the Cash App. Um, what else it is? It's Cash App. It's, um, I forgot the other ones. Cash App, Patreon, Super Chat, and PayPal. That's the other one, PayPal. So, um, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And this is Coach Evans with the latest episode of Sip the Tally Podcast. I'll see you guys soon. Film coming shortly.